go to 182 pounds, where we have the first seed, Mike Gargano from Overage. He will be in purple against the number three seed, Etienne Udat of Piscataway in the black uniform with a large gold key on the side. Finally, the home crowd has something to cheer about now. Gargano was the returning GMC champion at 182 pounds, so he is the defending champion. He also took a fourth place when he was a sophomore in 2013. And Gargano currently with a 22-1 record on the season. Piscataway has excellent uh, athletic wrestlers in the upper weights all, all, the, all the early years, and uh, this is no exception. Well, the head coach of uh, of the Chiefs is uh, Bill Pavlak, and of course he had great success as a coach of uh, South Plainfield for years. Stepped away now in his third year at Piscataway, trying to rebuild the program. In between his coaching stints, he, he ref for a little bit. Right. In fact, I think he's still. I think I don't know if, if he's still in association, and he's comes up by me in Region Four, and he's refed over there. Out. They go out. Udat on the shot. Oh. Udot 17 and 2 on the year. Had a third place finish here in the GMC's last year. He is a senior, as is Gargano. He's a solid kid. He's big upstairs. Very strong. Check his body mass index. I don't think there's a lot of fat on nope. that one. Nope, didn't Gar get it. Not, not on Gargano either. <laughs> Neither Russell has made any Russell has made any definite college plans. They both plan on wrestling uh, in college wherever they go. Yeah, sometimes you say, okay, I mean, I'm, I have to try to sell myself, so I'll go to the high school in Nashville, Virginia Beach, or go to Flow Nationals, and maybe make a name for yourself. And somebody might grab them and use them as a diamond in a rough. And mm -hmm. under 30 seconds here in the first period at 182, no score. Mike Gargano from Old Bridge in the purple. There's a warning on Gargano. Wow. Gargano, one of two wrestlers for Old Bridge in the finals. Udad is the only Piscataway wrestler here in the finals. Another shot by Udot. And no we will score. go to the second. Wow, well, he deferred with no score, so you gotta go down and, and score that first point. Yeah. Barkan is very long and, and lean. <laughs> Trying to lift a very solid Eddie Udo. Now he got right up. Right up. Brings him down to the mat. Can't get the legs in. He does there as they, uh, on their feet. See now, when your feet leave the mat, they, that's, you, that's oh, he's dangerous. got, he's got a reversal. No backs. There's your first points. Gargano had the leg in. And you're right, and you were starting to say, go ahead. Uh-huh. No, that, uh... If you, if you take your opponent off the mat... Oh, yeah, yeah, you flee, flee the mat. You leave that in college, yeah, that you wrestle, but not in high himself. school. That should have been... But he could have called that potentially dangerous. dangerous, and he stopped but Gargano it. kept bouncing back to the mat to support himself. But in the end, Udod gets the reversal. He's up 2 nothing now with a minute 15 to go here in the second period. So what you were saying it's earlier, you may give him one. With Gargano deferring in that second period, he did give Udot the opportunity to score first. Yeah. I don't like that. You, you take down, you get that first point. High low, high low, finally shoots in, gets the leg. Gargano 
Kyle countering pretty well, stays on his feet. Yeah, he's comfortable there with that over-under. Yeah. He's look using how, his leverage. Look how much, yeah, the leverage, look how much taller Gargano is than Udot. I mean, he must be a good six inches taller. So he's got, Udot's got to try to get, break through those arms and, and shoot so he doesn't get the underhook, doesn't get caught in underhooks. And they go out. We'll get a restart. I'm trying to try to see if I watch the shots of his arms are too out and he's getting caught like that. Gargano made his way to the finals with a fall in the semifinals over Ejik Okafor of Spotswood. And Udod had a, uh, a fall in 14 seconds Second. over Tyler Gilligan wow. of Saraville. So he's going to go down. And the final. Gargano takes the bottom, as you said, Luke. One. We are tied at two. Bill Pavlak telling Udot to take a shot in the middle. In the middle. We have not had an overtime match yet today. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, you didn't get it. You didn't lock it in. Nope. Has a head and an arm. There's a way to get that. You're not going to get it. Gosh, darn it. Yeah, Gargano did not have anything locked up. That was real loose around the top. Under a minute here in the third period of regulation. Shot by Udot, counter by Gargano. Nope. Udot has the leg. Staying long, got that whizzer. He hooks it. He's loose. He's, He's got the oh, leg hook. He got a oh, whizzer. Oh, he left, but he... Watch out for the Merkel. There's a Merkel. That's two. Wow, we got a Merkel. Wow. Yep, in our day, Merkel wasn't control. They made it control, I guess, two years ago? Two, three okay. years ago. Now we get, he got a reversal last time. I don't know if he could plan that again, though. Mike Gargano draped over Eddie Udot. Udot went down right off the bat, just put his head down. You can't do that. You're losing a lot of that clock. 20 seconds to go in regulation. Oh. Gargano took himself back, maintains control. We're under 10 seconds. That's 4 it. 2 lead to the clock. And at 182 pounds from Obridge, by a score of 4 to 2, the champion, Mike Gargano. That was a big boy. He, he yeah.